Oh, it's on, it's on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> Lean the car with this one. Damn. He's like, Lean the car right there. He's like, Lean the car right there, Mom. Is it recording? Is it recording? Y'all talk. Y'all want to say this fool's car is clean? Look at him. <laughs> That's some filthy ass mess. <laughs> All right. So, Fiasco's car is over here today at Carlos's house. At Palafox Customs. At Palafox Customs. No, we're not painting it. It's not getting a full color change. You know, nothing crazy. We're just detailing it. Mr. Jaime Munoz claims he doesn't have time to detail his car. He claims allegedly. Hardworking fella. Doesn't have time to detail the car, so Carlos and I are gonna spend a couple days on it and just go through the whole car, detail his plastics, interior. Small color correction on the paint. Carlos, what do you think? Yeah. I think the most obvious is that for me, the visors. These were yeah. They're gonna yeah, yeah, this is stuff over. people sleep on, yeah, yeah. aka yeah. fiasco. Like, yeah, yeah. this thing's supposed to be transparent. Like, you're supposed to be able yeah. to see your hand behind it. You and look at a picture. George? Yeah. About? George Your visor. Oh yeah. oh yeah, George is gonna get a picture for you guys. Yeah, before and after these things. It's yeah, be before crazy. and after. Them old things. Them old things. Yeah. There and then this. The cow. This thing. Woo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We brought the back to back stuff. That's gonna be like. I have. Oh, I should have brought it. I have what? actually need some stuff at home. Oh, you should have brought it. I, that yeah, the tire gel works. Yeah, the tire gel works just as well. Oh, this one. But yeah, so we're just gonna detail the car pretty much, give it a once over, get all these plastics looking right again, they're dry and you know, just the stuff Carlos loves to do, and I'm here to document it for you guys and help out and whatnot. Don't mind the ride heights aired up in the front. Slamming in the rear, but what? The product, maybe the product. Polish it. Oh yeah, for carpet cleaner today we are using. We try a lot of products to be honest. So, something. man, OxyClean this time. It smells really good. I'm gonna try this today. Tough stuff works too. Tough stuff. I like the smell of that stuff. Too. Yeah, it works, but uh, the yeah. smell is like strong. Oh yeah, oh, like okay. chemical. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carlos picks his product off purely off a of scent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. It's smell like chemicals. Yeah, yeah. Like Wait, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so that, that's why he chooses his product. So if you guys ever want to sell Carlos, just make sure it fucking smells good. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're doing today. Detailing the car, chilling, you know. Check out his bag setup though, I think it's pretty clean. I probably would raise that up for you guys, but... Oh yeah, look. This fiasco right here in a nutshell. He removed the strut bar to install the bag setup. It's been like five, six months. Hasn't even installed it. So we'll do that now, today. Oh, look at his plate though, I think it's pretty funny. DC5, fool. But you know, this is it. Yeah. So right now I just grabbed water on a rag. Damn, dirty. Yeah, look how dirty. There's just water. There's, there's panels. And then we're gonna hit them with interior cleaner. Yeah, got interior cleaner, but right now pretty much just like kind of removing all the contaminants on the plastic, just with water. Yeah, trust the old Meguiar's interior detailer and then another clean rag and it'll leave it good. I'll show you guys in a bit. So, McGuire's spray on the rag, wipe it on. The cool thing about this product is it won't leave it like armor on, all fucking greasy and shiny. It'll just leave it nice, deep black. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Oh, that's black. Yeah. Uh, under the seat. It's so good, smell good. Show the people what are you eating. Let me see. Mmm. <laughs> Check out 
Oh yeah, if you don't have one of these, like I said in the previous video of the coupe. Oh yeah, the coupe's gone too. Forgot to record that. <laughs> what happened? Oh yeah. Get you one of those extractors and look, look how dirty these fucking. Throw it on it? Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Black. That's all from the carpets. That's all junior. That's all fiasco right there. <laughs> Jesus. He said his shit was clean too. He's like, it's not that dirty, guys. <laughs> Little polish. Before. After. Just some others. And a rag, no machine. Just rub it with your hand. And that's it. Simple stuff. Put the bar back in, all nice and polished. It's like a C pillar bar. Check it out, check it out. So nice again, all nice and polished. No, I don't think. Just getting whacked a little bit. You know, zip today. Oh, just compound. Just compound. This is halfway through the bringing it back. This is good. 105. You could bring back most visors, so if you guys find some used ones on your local classifieds, you see like now it's transparent, it's starting to get there. Get them off with 205 and some wax. Look at that. Super clean now. Back to brand new pretty much. It's a wrap for today. We detailed the back. Let me see, let me show you guys. Vacuumed this bad boy out. Did the rear plastics. Installed the rear strut bar. Carlos did the door visors. Carlos did the cowl. Uh, throughout the week, we'll just be detailing this car and we'll show you guys. Lots of little tips and tricks. Oh, this time we tried this for the cowl. Ultimate black. Normally we use the tire shine, tire gel from Armor. Today we're trying that. So let's see how good it holds up.